Welcome to a little different video, not about hardware, but about useful software. I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com and in this video I will show you 10 Android apps that I think are very useful and you should know about. Files is a very useful app from Google with three main features. It can help you identify and get rid of files you don't need anymore to free up some storage. At the same time it is a pretty nice and simple file manager. Unlike most it is clean and easy to use without being overloaded. The third feature works like Apple's AirDrop. You can simply share files between users without having to use your data plan. If you are writing articles or even just emails in English you should check out Grammarly. You can get Grammarly as an app for the desktop or as an extension for Microsoft Word or Chrome. But you can also get it as a free keyboard for Android. Grammarly is so useful because it is awesome at recognizing spelling mistakes and even grammar mistakes. I'm using Grammarly for about a year now and it is awesome. Alright, I think you are well aware that monkey123 is not a great password. Instead you should use a unique one with lots of letters, numbers and special characters for every account. Password managers like LastPass are very useful for that. They help you create secure passwords and support an autofill feature so that you don't have to type in the password every time yourself. The free version is totally fine. If you want to live a mostly paperless life then apps like Adobe Scan can be very useful. With that one you can scan in documents, bills or business cards and they are converted to a PDF. There are a lot of apps like this. For example OneDrive and Evernote have similar scanning features. AirDroid is a very interesting and useful app with tons of features. With AirDroid you can control your Android device from your PC, transfer files, manage apps and even make phone calls or send text messages from your PC. You can remote control your phone's camera, transfer APKs and really a lot more. You really should take a look at AirDroid, it is super useful. Another useful app is called Subscriptions. Nowadays it seems like most companies want you to pay a monthly subscription fee that can get pricey fast. With the app subscriptions you can get a simple overview over all of your subscriptions. You can specify how much you pay when and insert other notes. That way you've got a great overview and you can see if it might be wise to cancel some. If you want to quickly record a video off your screen you should check out Rec. It is a simple and easy to use screen recorder. You can specify the resolution and bitrate and even record a voiceover using the microphone at the same time. Rack works great and is the best of this kind I tried. Now JPEG Optimizer is an app that you probably won't need every day but it is great to know about. Especially if you sometimes have to fill in old web forms where you can't upload bigger images. With JPEG Optimize you can resize pictures and set the JPEG quality. Sure every smartphone can crop photos but not really resize them and set the quality. Time Until is a countdown app for longer countdowns. For example you can tell the app when your vacation starts, when your wedding is or when the newest episode of Star Trek is airing. Once you open the app you can immediately see how much longer you have to wait. The last app on this list is Skype and yes I'm sure everybody knows Skype. I don't want to show you the app itself and instead more remind you that you can make real phone calls using Skype. In fact you can call almost every number worldwide and it is very affordable. If you have a Microsoft Office subscription you might even have 63 minutes. You can also pay for a real local phone number that connects to your Skype. That way somebody without an internet connection can call you. I know it's not that interesting for most everyday life. However it is really useful to know about and can be very useful when you're traveling internationally. You can potentially save a lot of money. For example I'm from Germany and was stuck in New York for a couple of days due to a snowstorm a while back. I had to deal with airlines and using Skype was much cheaper than using my German phone plan. Alright these are 10 useful apps that I think are great to at least know about. Are you interested in more videos like these or should I stick to tablet reviews? Please let me know in the comments. I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com. Thanks for watching.